Now, several warm days in February brought an early allergy season to many across the low country. No doubt about it. That pollen isn't going anywhere anytime soon, which means the pollen count's going to stay high. News 2's Colby Thielen talked with an allergist about how you can reduce your symptoms. And Colby, not just this year, but into the future as well. Yeah, Brad, limiting exposure, of course, is the first step. And when that allergen that affects you, like pollen, is abundant, you want to keep your windows closed, your AC on, and, your sh and you want to shower immediately after coming in from outside. But when it's unavoidable, there are ways you can lessen the effect. <clears throat> when your throat, eyes, and nasal passage are under allergic assault, fighting back can seem like an uphill battle. That's why Dr. Meredith Moore says, you have to start treatment before it hits. Once their symptoms start, it's much harder to get control than if you just prevent the symptoms with good medications and avoidance precautions. She says over-the-counter antihistamines or nasal steroids can help reduce itching, sneezing, congestion, and other symptoms, but... The nasal steroids and antihistamines are going to work better if you start using them before you have significant symptoms. Both, she says, are also safe. But users should follow the guidance of their doctor and the label on the packaging. And when symptoms persist... For more than several weeks, if over-the-counter medications aren't helping you, then that's definitely the time to seek expert advice. Allergists begin by finding out what you're allergic to specifically. We'll do allergy testing, which is prick skin testing. We can identify their allergens in about 15 minutes. Then they help you find ways to avoid exposure or specifically treat the source with prescription medications. For long-term treatment, the best option, she says, is getting allergy shots. Allergy shots are a three to five year treatment, but at the end of it, the vast majority of patients can stop shots and continue to have benefit for many, many years afterwards. Allergen immunotherapy is a great long-term option that can really help people get relief. On Thursday, we're going to show you some common allergy myths, like that yellow pollen on your car. Is it really what's making you sick? Well, we'll find out. Plus tonight, Brad Franco shows you how to tell if it's a cold or if it's actually allergies you're dealing with. You're not going to want to miss that. It's on an all-new reality check. In studio, Colby Thielen, Count on 2.